What's up, Cal gang? Welcome back to Static. So let's solve this problem. So we're trying to find the moment of inertia around the y-axis of this shape, shaded region here. So let's get started. So we have this formula, i of y is equal to the integral over the area times x squared dA. So what we need to do is put this in terms of one unit. So we have dA here. You can't integrate with respect to dA necessarily. So we know that dA is equal to x dy, or dA is equal to y dx. Right? Either one of these works, but we want to make sure we choose the right one that's going to make it easiest for us. So in this case, whenever I do these problems, I find it's easiest to do whatever the dx is, is whatever we have here already. So we have x squared, so we want to use dx because that's just going to uh, make the integral a little easier. Less uh, substituting in we have to do. So let's go over to here. So now it's just going to be look like um, x squared y dx. So we're integrating with respect to x. So what are, the, what are the bounds for x, right? x goes from 0 to 16. So it's 0 to 16. But this integral isn't right. This integral isn't right, and it has to do with this y here. So let's get rid of that before you write it down. Uh, we're integrating with respect to x, right? So if we're integrating with respect to x, x, that means we're coming off of the x-axis. So we're going down dx, and we're going up here. So this is a distance y, right? But the area we're looking for is not y but this area within, right, this is area, this is what we want to find. So as we go down the line, we don't want to look for y, we want to look for 4 minus y, right? Because this total height is equal to 4, this total height is equal to 4 inches, and we want to find a, and we know what y is, y is defined by this function here. So we want to say y, or we want to find this is equal to 4 minus y. See where that's coming from? So in this case, our total height is 4, and then we're subtracting y to get this area. That's what we're trying to integrate for. So then this is now our integral. So now we have uh, a y in our term. So we have x, we have the dx, we have the bounds, we're good, but we have a y. We need to get rid of this y. So like I said, y is defined by y squared is equal to x. So this becomes y is equal to the square root of x. Technically plus or minus, but in this case it's not going to matter. Uh, so we can say that this i y is equal to 0 to 16 x squared 4 minus, and then we're going to plug in square root of x to y, square root of x dx. So then now we have something we can actually integrate and get a number out of. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's expand this 0 to 16. So it's going to be 4 x squared minus, so then x squared times square root of x is going to be x to the 5 halves and the dx, don't forget that. So now we just have this pretty simple integral to solve, so let's take the integral. So it's gonna be four over three x to the third minus two over seven x to the seven fifths. And there were, our bounds for that are zero to 16. Right. So just plug in 16 for each one of our x's here. If you plug in the zero, you're gonna get zero. And you're gonna find that the moment around the y-axis so what we're finding is 780 inches cubed, or not cubed, the fourth. And there you go. So that's how you solve this problem. Uh, so it's not that tricky of a problem. It's just about making sure you get this right. Make sure you are know what you're integrating over, and make sure you get the area right, not finding the other side of the integral. So there you go. So that's how you solve this problem. So yeah, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to check out my channel. I have a whole lot of videos on this topic and future topics and past topics. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.